Shrimps are quite hardy creatures, but they can be extremely sensitive to some factors that if those factors change or fluctuate, they become very stressed and eventually die. The first factor is water parameter of the aquarium. Shrimps prefer quite hard water which has about 150 to 250 TDS and they like the water to be slightly acidic and ammonia free. What happens in most cases is that people do overfeed their shrimp and that extra food rots and creates a large amount of ammonia which then plays its role to take the shrimps down gradually. That's the number one reason why shrimps die. Secondly, shrimps die due to lack of proper acclimation. If you don't acclimate your shrimp properly, then your shrimp is not going to die right off the bat, but your shrimp may have an early molt due to the sudden change in water parameters. And due to this early molt, your shrimp may die. Thirdly, your shrimp may die if there is copper in your aquarium. By saying copper, I mean the copper which is dissolved in the water. Solid copper pipes or anything else made of copper don't affect the shrimp, but dissolved copper gets inside the body of your shrimp and just kills it. Dissolved coppers mostly come from snail killing medicines and it seeps inside the silicon glue of your aquarium and stays there just forever, making your tank incompatible for shrimp and snails. So if you have a second hand aquarium and you are planning to put some shrimps in there, first try keeping some snails in that aquarium. If the snail seems to be doing fine after a week, then you may assume your tank is copper free and safe for shrimps. But if the snail dies, then it is an indicator that your tank contains copper or anything similarly dangerous and you can keep shrimps in your tank. Shrimps and snails are both invertebrates, so if anything affects the snail then it will similarly affect the shrimp and if anything affects the shrimp then it will similarly affect the snail. The fourth reason is having predators in the shrimp aquarium which may attack the shrimp. This will only happen if you are keeping shrimp in a community tank where you keep some other fishes along with their shrimp. This issue can be easily solved by adding some hiding spaces to the tank so that the shrimps can take shelter when they get attacked. The fifth reason is doing frequent water changes. This may seem good to change the water of a shrimp tank because replacing the old water with new water means less ammonia, nitrates and nitrites. But as I mentioned earlier, shrimps are extremely sensitive to change in water parameters. So the shrimps may become very stressed due to frequent water changes due to huge fluctuations in water parameters and this way you will end up harming your shrimp more than what the ammonia have had harmed if it stayed in the aquarium. So that's all for this video, consider subscribing if the video was helpful and I will catch you in the next one.